First Corinthians and chapter 12, verse 7. But before then, we want to continue our conversation on the local church. We have been speaking about evangelism. And last week, we started talking about what to do when someone receives Christ. And I showed you in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 15, just before we go to our subject of the day, Acts 15, where Paul said to Barnabas, Apostle Paul, as we know him, said to Barnabas in verse 36. And some days after Paul said to Barnabas, let us go again and visit our brethren in every city where we have preached the word of the Lord and see how they do. That's we call it follow-up, which means you visit. In follow-up, it is not the person that comes to you. You are the one who goes to meet the person. And so after someone had received the gospel, received the word, you have to go back to visit, to check on such persons. Now, why do you go back to check on such persons? Now, the first thing you probably want to do, it's not wrong, is to get the person to church. Now, we said that earlier. When someone has received the gospel, it's of utmost importance you have him or her established in your church. But you see, there's more to it than just getting the person to church. Follow-up is actually the art of making a disciple, which is you are going there to see how the person is doing, spiritually speaking, and also the welfare, and also to teach the person, to teach the person the word of God. In Acts of the Apostles 5.42, we see such an example where it says, and daily in the temple and in every house, they cease not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. So, they went to the houses where people stayed to visit them and to teach them. In Acts 20 and 20, Paul said, I kept back nothing that was profitable to you, but he says, I taught you publicly, which is what we're doing now in the service. Then he says, from house to house, which means that I checked on you, all right, and I taught you in the house. Now, the thing is, the church is a family, which means that I'm not just coming to just teach you alone, I'm also identifying with you. I'm showing you that we belong to one family, because when somebody receives the gospel, he becomes your brother or sister in Christ, which means you have the same father and the same brethren. So, follow-up is actually identifying with you. While someone joins a church to identify with the body of Christ, we go to visit people, to teach them, and also to fellowship with them, to show we identify with them as well. So, as a believer, you should know how to visit other believers, particularly new converts, and how, what to say, what to teach them. Local assembly is a place where we are trained to preach the gospel, to, for men to receive Christ and be saved, we are also trained in how to make disciples. In Matthew 28 and verse 19, it says, teach all nations, which is to make disciples of every nation, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Then it says in 20, teaching them to observe what things soever I have commanded you, and lo, I'm with you always, till the end of the age. So we, are, we have a responsibility not to just preach for people to receive alone after they have received. We must visit. We must go and check people up, which means that in the place of evangelism, one of the things I was taught and I teach you to is take down the details. Details of where the person stays, how to reach the person. Sometimes people may not want you to come to their homes. I mean, our communities are very different. Our sites are different. But you should find a place where you can meet. For example, I'm aware some of our churches who are not in Nigeria often tell me they need to say, okay, where do we meet? So they, they could meet somewhere, maybe at a meeting place, and that also can or could be regular. I remember years back when I had this group of disciples who were from a largely Muslim home. And their dad 
was quite an influential Muslim. I'll spare you some CIA details of my ministry there, but I remember that we now found a place where we could meet. That place was meant to be a tutorial center <laughs> where you were supposed to go and receive lesson. But we now found that's our follow-up location. So that's my own house to house because I couldn't go directly to their place because the houses were owned by them. So you should find a place where you will be sharing the word of God with people that receive the gospel. So it doesn't stop with just someone believing the gospel, saying I'm born again, Jesus is now my Lord. There is an advancement from that point where you need to go and visit to see how he or she is doing and also teach. Besides that, I also mentioned to fellowship, to show that we belong to one family. So it doesn't matter if you live in uh, an eyebrow area, brow area, or uh, uh, an exquisite area, if your disciples or those who are new converts and areas are not as uh, exquisite as your own, you are going there because you are saying we are family. And that's important in the course of the gospel. Ensure that you also know how to visit and make sure that you don't ask for food. Amen. Or when you are leaving, you say, can I have transport fare? You know, don't do that. <laughs> That's something else. That is a parasitic follow-up. You should just go. You should be the person actually giving to whomever has received. Is that very clear? Praise the Lord.